There was a long, exhaustive, thoroughly reported New York Times Sunday Magazine essay on the bad behavior of Israeli settlers. But I don't believe that survival, right, the survival of Israel was once mentioned in that piece. So it's, this piece is a product of the liberal worldview where the most important thing is the individual and the individual's inalienable rights. But what about the survival of the group? So from the perspective of this New York Times piece, it's the illiberal behavior of West Bank settlers that threatens the survival of the Jewish state. But what about having a, a state that is very difficult to defend without Jewish settlements on the West Bank, right? That didn't come up. So these pragmatic questions of survival, right, don't seem to figure often in the liberal worldview. And so that states would pursue policies that it can't write down, that it can't publicly defend, but that it pursues unofficially because it's in their survival best interest, it doesn't usually get a fair shake in the liberal perspective. But obviously, it seems to me, I guess I'm a nationalist, I'm a tribalist, right? I understand why many people and many groups would put their highest priority on survival. And if it enhances Israel's survival, for example, to take control of Gaza and to maintain robust settlements on the West Bank, then even if Israel can't justify these policies officially, right? I would expect Israel or any state to pursue its best interests and its survival over conformity to a liberal worldview.